Hey there, Capricorn. Welcome to your reading for your next big change. We're looking at Pluto and Aquarius, which Pluto enters into Aquarius on November 18th. Now you have this not for you card and this thinker card. I think you're thinking that something is not for you, <laughs> literally. And uh, I, we're going to look into that. So, I, you know, again, I'm, normally I don't take cards literally. Uh, I take them intuitively. But um, for some reason that like liter literally popped into my head as you are thinking that something is not for you. I think it actually could be. And I'm going to show you this card in just a minute. But this lady is like sitting on this pedestal. And there's this face. It's very hard to see. But again, I'll show you in just a second. Um, and it's this like higher pedestal. And she needs to kind of like level up. And yes, you need to level up. Um, you know, you could, I think you are though. Um, you know, it's kind of weird because it's like saying you need to do this. But right away, we have these cards that kind of say you are going to do this. You are going to um, level up or you are going to take things to the next level. So I wouldn't really... Um, worry about that too much and um, but you know it definitely popped into my head um, but that could be a clue for you as well like if you think that you're not meant for something that you kind of want uh, this could say no like no you are <laughs> and you really need to go for it at this time Capricorn so you know maybe you're still hung over from uh, Pluto being in your sign but uh, you know, again, I do think this energy is going to lessen and things are kind of going to get better for you. And so, you know, that's what I'll say there. But again, this lady, she, there's like this face that's kind of looking at her here on this like higher pedestal. And I feel with that not for you card, it's like you're thinking that something that your fortunes won't turn in your favor. We have the wheel of fortune, but we also have like this fortune cookie on this chessboard here. And, you know, like, I feel a need to be, let me just say this as well. Sorry, the, the, the messages are rushing in here, Capricorn. I feel like there's a need for you to be, like, very straightforward with something. It's like there's a chessboard, which would be like playing a game. And, you know, I think this is saying, like, think something that you're thinking about, like, it, it could be a change that you're thinking about making. Your first card is the death card, and you have the Wheel of Fortune. These are both big change cards. The other thing I would say is you have the Three of Wands. Three of Wands is my card that says, what are you waiting for? So, you know, it's like you're clearly looking at an opportunity. Uh, I think for you, um, this is probably a big opportunity, like a life-changing opportunity. And I'm not trying to be clickbaity here, but it's, it would be something like, you know, moving, uh, getting a new job, starting a new career, you know, something big like that, starting a business. So I think that's what you are probably overthinking at the moment. And you have the death card. And the death card, I feel, is just saying, well, yeah, things need to change. <laughs> the death card is a great card for a change. So I think that whatever change you're thinking of doing would be a good idea. And, you know, I think it'll lead to good things. The sun is coming up between the two pillars here on the death card. And those two pillars show up on the moon. You have the sun and the moon in your reading. So I think that, you know, sun is coming up in your life. And this, a sun period would be a period of time where you're gaining clarity or you're able to see things clearly. So, you know, definitely very good. Uh, you have the wheel of fortune. You know, again, this fortune, the wheel of fortune can represent your fortunes changing or fortunes turning in your favor. And I kind of, that's pretty much what I feel here. It makes sense, you know, with Pluto leaving your sign that you feel more fortunate or you're about to feel more fortunate. I like I, I think I said this to you recently, but I, I, I think you really need to shake off that Pluto in Capricorn energy. And, you know, but, like I think you need to take some sort of risk, you know. I think maybe you're too used to things not working out because of Pluto in Capricorn. Capricorn, and I think you should take some sort of risk of something that you want to work to like try it again and don't overthink it. Don't put any pressure on it at, at all. You know, it'd almost be good for you to, like, I kind of feel in business, for example, it would be good for you to just like try something and just not care if it works or not and just see what happens, you know? And I think that will help you the most with the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, you have the sun. The sun makes the whole entire reading more positive. So, you know, I think there could be a lot of happiness and joy coming in for you at this time. I would, as if you're an earth sign, which you are, <laughs> uh, if you're watching this reading, you know, I would be focusing on the sun. And so the sun is like a spotlight in your life. It, it shines a light on things that you love. And we have the Ace of Cups right here. And so this, again, doesn't have to be a person. I don't think it is. I think this is, you know, an activity, a business, your career. It's you doing things that cause your emotions to overflow. And I would focus on things that bring more flow into your life. I would also focus on um, talking to yourself in like in the positive, right, with that Ace of Cups in the sun. And so I would practice like positive self-talk. Uh, with the death card, you have the Page of Wands. Page of Wands is about be going on adventure, moving in new directions. And we have the Three of Wands right here. 
So I wouldn't be opening up to enthusiasm. Again, that's the other thing that I feel for you as well, Capricorn, is that I think during Pluto and Capricorn, it's almost like your enthusiasm gets crushed, you know? Uh, you, you probably would get very excited about something and then it wouldn't work. So I think you need to get enthusiastic again. With the Wheel of Fortune, you have the Nine of Swords. Wheel of Fortune, Nine of Swords says, do not repeat a cycle. So uh, if there are any cycles or if you're thinking about going back to anything, this is basically saying, no, not for you that everything is in front of you. So, you know, I think it's saying, it's encouraging the change is really what it is. I actually don't, I consider Nine of Swords to be the worst card in the tarot, uh, personally, but I don't feel too bad about it here in this reading. The rest of it is very positive, and so far, that could change, but <laughs> so far, and I, I really feel it's just saying that, you know, you have to let go of your old story. With the sun, you have the five of wands. Five of wands can be conflict or competition, but I feel like this is encouraging you to look at things that have caused conflict in your life because the five of wands, these people are using sticks to fight. They're not using swords. And so the story of the five of wands is that they are learning how to fight. They are learning how to um, you know, get the benefits for, from the challenges that they've been through. And so I feel the sun is obviously shining a light on this and it's saying you know what did you learn over the past 20 years and how can you benefit from it um you know now like most people will never get this opportunity it takes 200 and whatever years for pluto to re to go all the way around right so uh, most people uh, will never experience pluto in their sign in their life and you know you it, yeah maybe it was hard but at the same time like it's an amazing opportunity to grow um, more than anyone else and that's what i would be focusing on is like look at your challenges don't live in the past but look at your challenges and what you learned and how you can grow from it now uh, next in the area of, of what's coming in for you, you have this Triceratops card that says setting boundaries, standing proud, and using your sacred voice. You have this Alpaca card that says purposefulness, willpower, and stamina. I think that's what, you know, you are a Capricorn. You have a lot of stamina and willpower and not giving up. Uh, you also have the Seven of Wands in your reading, which is in your third row. We'll talk about it in a minute, but definitely a card of setting boundaries. So I think that a lot of you have probably learned the lessons of boundaries and all that other good stuff. You know, it's kind of funny um, what's popping into my head here as well. Like, I feel like some of you are looking at some of the things you've been through, and it's almost like you feel naive, like, to yourself. You know, like, maybe you feel like, like, how how was I so naive to believe these things that I believed? But, you know, I think it was just those moments were just to teach you boundaries over the last 20 years. Uh, you have the Three of Wands, Ace of Cups, and the Moon. I really feel the Three of Wands is that energy that is encouraging you to shake off Pluto and, Aquari and, and Capricorn and kind of shake off the energy. You know, it also says, what are you waiting for? You know, he's looking at these boats on the water here, and those boats represent an opportunity, but he needs to get onto those boats. He needs to get out there and go on an adventure and stop looking at it. So I think that if there's anything that could cause growth in your life uh, that you are looking at right now, like a job promotion, a career a business, uh, you know, could be could be anything really. Then I would take advantage of whatever the opportunity is. And you have the Ace of Cups, a lot of Aces in these in this set of readings as well, which makes sense. Again, Pluto is a pretty major change, and it could definitely bring in new beginnings. So the Ace of Cups is your emotions overflowing. It would also be a card of focusing on your happiness, which we see right here, and also with the Sun. Uh, so the Ten of Cups, these people are choosing happiness. They're choosing to uh, focus on these 10 cups. The Ace of Cups would be choosing to focus on things that cause your energy to overflow. You know, Ace of Cups is endless energy. That cup can reach down into the water below it and it can fill itself up. So I think you need to focus on more of the opportunities that cause you to overflow. Uh, you have the moon. The moon can represent like fears, anxiety, illusions. You know, I, what I kind of feel on the moon is that you need to balance one of your energies. You know, there's this dog and this wolf or dog and coyote, whichever you prefer. And it, the dog is your domestic side. The coyote or wolf is your wild side. And so the moon can sometimes represent needing to balance one or the other out. It's like maybe you're being too serious. You're a Capricorn, right? Um, so I get it right? Um, <laughs> I have a ton of Capricorn in my chart. I didn't believe in Santa when I was like two years old. I knew that Santa wasn't real. So I think Capricorns have, you know, I, I had like no imagination when I was a child. So I think Capricorn energy can be very serious. So maybe you need to be more playful. Maybe you need to uh, take more risks or whatever the case may be uh, with the moon card. But I think one or the other side needs to be more balanced out. Uh, with the three of wands, you have the three of cups, which you have twice here. 
So definitely very good for your community. All these cards, Ten of Cups, Three of Cups, Twice. These are great cards for, you know, building a community um, around you. And this could be like friends, family. Uh, you, you could literally be building a following like on social media or something like that as well. And I think all of that would be a, a great thing for you. you. You know, this Triceratops card says standing proud. And, you know, I think that a lot of you Capricorns have an opportunity here to be a leader in any area of your life in the future. And that's what that's encouraging. Yeah, with the Ace of Cups, you have the Death card again. So definitely, you know, the change is coming this, this way here. And so there could be a big transformation or a change. Obviously, you know, Pluto is all about transformation and change. So it kind of fits in well with the astrology. I would say that the good news with having the death card twice is that, again, um, the two pillars from the moon show up here with the sun, and you have the moon here. So it's almost like some of you could be leaving a moon period, a, per a period of a lack of clarity or not understanding you know, what direction to move in in your life and all that other stuff. Uh, with the moon, you have the high priestess. Yeah, uh, this could be intuition. Bo both cards can represent needing to trust your intuition. I also feel there's definitely something about your readings lately that have really been encouraging you to see your true potential. You know, the high priestess, she has no roof over her head. And, you know, a lot of people say she's a card of intuition, secrets, mysteries, you know, all that other stuff. But really, she is a card of potential. And she has unlimited potential. There's no limits to what she can accomplish. And that's why she has no roof over her head on the card. So, you know, I think that it could be a time for you to, like, try and reach your full potential um, in, you know, what, any area of your life. Uh, next in the area of messages from your future self, you have this meditate and contemplate card. You have the step out of your comfort zone card as well. Yes, three of wands. <laughs> three of wands is all about leaving a comfort zone. So I think for a lot of you, this is asking you to step out of a comfort zone. Uh, moon and high priestess are great for meditation. So, you know, anything you can do to like meditate or think things through would be a good idea. You have the four of pentacles, the ten of cups and the seven of wands. Four of Pentacles is a card of stability, growth, um, you know, kind of, or it, it's not, but it is a card of stability. It's not a card of growth, but I did say it. So it definitely could be uh, causing growth in your life. Um, you, know, what I, you know, sometimes I feel like, you know, his head and his heart here are in alignment, these two Pentacles here. And one of my favorite people of all time, Greg Braden, says, when your head and your heart become one, uh, you can move mountains. So you really could be moving mountains or accomplishing a lot by kind of being in alignment your thoughts and your heart, what your heart wants as well, and mixing those two things together. Uh, you have the Ten of Cups. Yeah, Ten of Cups is choosing happiness, basically. You know, it can be happy home, happy family, fortune after difficulty, which I definitely feel a lot of you are just going to be feeling better with Pluto and Aquarius in general. So you could just be feeling more fortunate. But again, they're choosing to focus on things that make them happy. And I think that you know, even if you don't know what makes you happy, which some people don't, and I, you know, again, I was, I always tell the story, I was stuck just staring at a wall for like four and a half years of my life, and I really didn't know what made me happy, but I had to like go look <laughs> for things that to do that made me happy, right? And so even if you don't know, uh, then I think you need to go look for things that bring you fulfillment and joy and happiness and peace in your life, whatever those things are, and I would do more of those things at this time. Uh, you have the Seven of Wands Boundaries. Also feeling like you're not ready, but I think this, the, the feeling like you're not ready to do something is just put on a, in Capricorn, even though it's leaving, you're probably still feeling it, but he has two different shoes on or a shoe and a boot here. And so he feels like he had to rush out of his home to defend his position at the top of the hill. He had to like rush. He wasn't ready. Um, but really you are ready. So I think the seven of wands is saying that you've learned from past conflict, which we know of because of the five of wands and you're ready to make your next move. Uh, with the Four of Pentacles, you have the Lovers. Could be lo These readings aren't really meant to be love readings. They're meant to be your next big change. Although, again, love could be something that causes a change. Uh, so again, some of you could have love coming, coming in for you if you want it. And, you know, it feels like a risk to me. It feels like you're taking a risk to, you know, if, if you are finding love over the next few years or sooner. Uh, you know, feels like you're taking a risk. But the Five of Swords shows up in the good stuff. So it would be a good risk. Uh, with the Ten of Cups, you have the Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles is material success on the horizon. Really good. You know, definitely positive financial change for you, Capricorn. I think things are working better. But again, if you, um, you know, one thing I will say is that if you're staying in that Pluto and Capricorn energy of feeling like if you do something, you're going to get crushed, then 
you know, I think your money won't be improving. But if you focus on your skills, focus on everything you've learned and try something again, then I think things will go very well for you. And again, even, you know, the Ten of Cups says you need to be more positive in your thinking, especially around your finances. Uh, with the Seven of Wands, you have the Two of Pentacles, and like this and that are true. <laughs> you know, whatever you believe to be to be true is true. So, you know, again, obviously, hopefully you're thinking more to the positive. And, you know, I think if you think more positive, then that will be true. If you think more negative, that will also be true. So I would, you know, obviously I would choose the positive. Uh, next in the area of the good stuff, you have this creating and writing. Very creative time. You know, Pluto and Aquarius is all about innovation. Innovation is creativity. So, you know, any creative ideas you have, I would go for it. You have this seek assistance card as well. Yeah, Pluto and Aquarius is the collective. So anything we can do to work together with other people, uh, to benefit other people, to allow people to help us, then, you know, any of that stuff is just going to be lifting us up and making us more successful so i would definitely encourage you to get advice from other people and you know allow people to be part of your success right when people help you and make you successful they become successful and it just creates more of that positive energy you have the five of swords the three of cups and the temperance card five of swords and the good stuff represents taking a risk and so i think a lot of you could be taking some sort of risk at this time probably to try something again with that eight of pentacles i don't know you know that's not what the eight of pentacles represents but you know that's kind of like what i'm feeling it's like saying that you've been trying to build something in your life for a long time and you've been putting all this work into it and i kind of feel the five of swords the eight of pentacles you know is this really a second chance i would say no because i don't think you've ever given up on something like a goal, wish, or dream that you have, but it kind of is a second chance because maybe you're reinventing it or maybe you're changing what you're doing a little bit, but you're still working towards the same goal, if that makes sense. And it could be a risk, like I said, because you've tried before. Uh, you have the Three of Cups. Three of Cups is a celebration. These three ladies are celebrating harvest. There has been a ton of harvest energy in these Pluto and Aquarius readings, so you know, it makes sense that a lot of people could be experiencing a harvest or celebrating a harvest. Again, also amazing for collective energy or working together with other people. You could get huge benefits from doing that. Uh, you have the temperance card. Temperance is cause and effect, or it's patience, but I was getting something about cause and effect here. Um, you know, he's pouring this water back and forth between these two chalices or cups, trying to turn water into wine, and it's a card of alchemy. So a lot of you, I think, have the power to tr just transform your situation. You know, turn your fortunes in your favor is what this reading is encouraging, especially based off your last 20 years. Uh, a lot of you could be making some improvements. And also, I think real you are realizing that you are the one that can create change. And, you know, that is very empowering. Like, I feel like the temperance card should be very empowering to you. We can't make this up. With the five of swords, you have the... Uh, magician the, again the magician is all about reinventing something i literally just said this that you know it seems to me like you've been working towards a goal for a long time and i think that some of you are just changing the way that you present it or you're changing the way that you work on the goal it, it's like you're going you're going to accomplish the same thing but just in a different way and that's literally what i said he is also pointing right here to this card which we'll take and it says protection on it yeah i feel like you're you know it's saying you're protected from risk meaning you can take the risk and you know you're not going to get crushed like you did maybe in the past uh with the three of cups you have the three of swords some of you could be healing your heart through connections um so with pluto on your sign you know, wouldn't it surprise me if some of you have experienced loss in your life, like, you know, have lost people who are close to you, which everybody does. But, you know, I, I think for Capricorn, these could have been unexpected losses, um, things like that. And, you know, a lot of you could be forming new connections that support you in similar ways. And you could just be healing your heart. You know, Three of Swords and the good stuff would be healing your heart. Uh, with the Temperance card, you have the Tower. Again, Tower's coming up in the good stuff, so wouldn't even worry about it. But with the Tower card here, this is all about kind of, um, you know, changing your reality. And so I think a lot of you are kind of reinventing your reality. And a lot of you could be doing this through your mind, your thoughts as well. Uh, first, you have this caution card. Uh, this card, it does say like, be careful who you allow into your life. I would say, especially at the end of this year until like March or April of next year, I would be careful of who, who you allow into your life. Um, and again, you have this other card that said um, that you're basically standing out. It says standing proud on it. And all year, this year, 2024, you've been get, having these readings that saying have said you really need to stand out in the world, basically. 
So you could be getting more attention or you could be standing out. And, you know, I would when you stand out, you, you'll you have a lot of people that want things from you. And so I, I would make sure you have healthy boundaries. And that card also says setting boundaries. You have the seven of wands here, which is like drawing a line in the sand. You have this protection card. Clearly, you are protected. You have two, at least two uh, protection cards here. Do you have anything else? And seven of wands can be a card of protection. So a lot of you could be protected. You are protected. You have this patience card. I feel like you be, I feel like your patience is paying off. Temperance and the good stuff would kind of say that your your patience is paying off now. So that's really all I get there. Whatever you've been waiting for, you're building. Uh, you have this appreciation card, which is like a card of abundance. There's this uh, cornucopia right here, which represents abundance. I think the more positive you can be with that Ten of Cups, even delusionally positive. <laughs> I'm a big fan of toxic positivity, even though sometimes I don't think it's right. But at the same time, I, you know, I practice toxic positivity and it's changed my life. So, you know, that's what I would do here with this card. And uh, finally, you have this optimism card. Can't make that up, right? Definitely needing to focus on being optimistic. But uh, overall, really good positive changes for you, Capricorn. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your next 20 years.